Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Gene Plugover coming to live, and in this video, I'm gonna review Zeek Analytics tool and how it could help you with your eBay career, uh, help you uh, find products to sell. So, just kind of gonna go over. Uh, we're in dashboard right now, and um, they have tutorials. They have different features of the tool, like store analytics. It has uh, category research, competitor research, product research. And then they also have bulk, bulk scanning, a uh, new tool that they uh, recently added. So uh, they have these mini videos like competitor research, how to do product research, price analytics. So you could watch these mini videos, uh, tutorials that will show you how to use each feature to your advantage. And uh, they also have webinars over here, uh, Hebrew and English. So if you click English, they have pretty good ideas and... Uh, uh, inside the webinars they're pretty long so they have a lot of good information so they have several webinars that show you how you could use this tool to your advantage and how to research products um, to, to sell on eBay of course and um, so you could link uh, your your store you could link your store so it'll show you analytics you know how well your store does and uh, I don't add it here because I have my virtual assistants use this um, uh, use this tool right here, this account. So I will not link my store because my product researchers don't need to know my store. Okay, so category research I haven't used that much, or product research. Uh, product research I do, category research not. You could uh, watch those tutorial videos that will uh, explain how everything works and. Uh, whether you want to use category research, uh, you know, different people have different strategies. But uh, the most product that I use, I mean, the most uh, feature that I use is competitor research. So I want to find competition on who already sell on eBay and see what they sell. So let's click. Let's say, let's if I'm drop shipping, I can start with Walmart, and let's say I choose any. Like let's say I choose this product. Okay, so let's say I want to look up, uh, look this up on eBay and see who sells on eBay. Let's see if uh, my invisible hand pulled up eBay. Yep, eBay, check prices. Let's see. I'm just looking for, uh, when, you, when you're using uh, invisible hand or price bling, uh, what it does, it pulls the item based on the UPC code. So, uh, so basically, as you could see, UPC code, it, all these searches are using that UPC code. If somebody was using their unique UPC code, this search it would not come up in this search particular. So I don't care. I'm just need. I just need a product to find drop shipper, like a drop shipper. Let's say, uh, you know, how much they sell? Sixteen fifty. Let's say I choose. I don't know, just any. Maybe someone a little bit more expensive, and. Uh, uh, the titles kind of not, not not really good titles. Uh, let's see. I want to have, have start with somebody who has a pretty nice, more decent title. This is this guy. Let's not waste a lot of time. So uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna copy their username. I don't care about whether they sold this or not because that's not my intention. I wanna research this person so click here you could choose 30 days 21 7 so basically it's gonna research and instead of you going the manual way and clicking to see other items and then clicking each one and see if there's any sales history or not or another way would be by clicking sold listings and you just go through their sold listings what happened was Zik analytics um, will pull there you go so it pulls in the last 30 days two cells on this item two cells on this one this is not really a good uh not really a good uh, competitor to really search for and he doesn't have enough products to really show you what i'm trying to do let's do let's try this this seller I'm just doing this live as I go. I haven't prepped. I didn't prep any sellers for you to research. Okay, it shows you from Israel, 17% click uh, sell through rate, which is pretty good. <clears throat> uh, it's not bad. Okay, so you could see this tool 
I mean, this product has been sold 23 times. You could, you know, uh, change them around <clears throat> from, you know, the most sold down to the least or vice versa or price. You could click here, you know, but I care about the sales. So let's say this person. So there you go. You could click here and you could see that's, that's how much they sold in the last 30 days. So basically, this tool actually saves you a lot of time so you don't have to, uh, you know, go through each and count how many sales they did, and it just gives you right here, right there, right there, right there. So, which is pretty cool. And then, you know, you see that these are hot sales in the last 30 days, and then you could just find out where they get their product from, and you know, see what they're profiting on this sale, and you could, you know, um, uh, start selling the same product, and you know, see what their title looked like, maybe you know, improve it. Or, or whatever you do with your titles and whatever strategy you're using improve it change around a bit and um, or I know some people they just uh, copy the same exact title and snipe people that's another option but uh, basically uh, you you get you find these uh, highly sellable items and then you see what profit the competitor makes and you just sell you could sell the same exact item or you could find something similar to it using you know these keywords because this title shows you that it generates sales and um, another cool feature that uh, Zik Analytic has uh, is if you could click here and it could search but they only use Amazon so they could search so depending on your break even I put 20% because um, my 9% plus Roughly 3% PayPal, 12 plus I added 8% tax for Amazon. So this product, my I'm actually negative eight unless if it's a, unless if it's a, you know a, a FBA seller, they normally don't charge tax. So that way, you know, um, if if it's not sold by Amazon.com by then the FBA, then I'm probably in a uh, profit mode here. But uh, this is for demonstration purposes, so you could click each one. And search for it or you know there, there's a, a bulk scanner you could purchase for an extra fee you could just click here you could just put minimum price you know dollar or I mean it doesn't matter minimum sales let's say I want minimum of four sales and maximum price it doesn't matter and minimum profit minimum dollar profit nice and boom scan and it will scan and you could just scan 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 uh, scan a bunch of sellers and then you could uh, check them out in your I'm not gonna show my scan <laughs> my scans that I did you know to reveal to reveal the sellers but basically it will show you you know kind of like what this do does but this takes time so the bulk scanner just scans it and then gives you the results and then you just go through them and see if it's worth uh, selling or not so this is a, a great tool right here it gives you the sales history which this tells you uh, the items that sell quick you know you could tell that these items sell you know five sold uh, it's in demand so the sales uh, you know speak um, they speak that the item is uh, you know in demand so then let's say uh, if, if you click here you could actually uh, if you click here scan title so it will scan this title and go straight to the product research so if you click here and you scan title and you could see other people selling uh, selling this product right here with the, with that title so once you click here you could click Zig selection and searching so you could see other sellers that are selling this item successful listing 16% so you could see a bunch of other sellers that sell this and you see that they sold zero 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 and only the top so you could uh, so yeah so so then when you're here you could just click uh, you know scan 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 and you're now scanning a bunch of other sellers you know look how much they sold and then you just go through and, and keep searching like I said uh, there's still a bu also a bunch of other sellers to scan you could scan or once you are out of sellers then you just click on any you know and scan this 
listing <clears throat> boom and click here Zeke selection <clears throat> And then now you got a bunch of other sellers to scan. So it's, it's like endless. Once you found one dropshipper on eBay, you don't even have to go back to eBay and, uh, and search for uh, other dropshippers. Of course, if you want to move away from Walmart and go more like Amazon or other stores, you may need to look up uh, a dropshipper that sells Amazon products or Wayfair or, or Overstock. Sometimes, uh, a lot of times, you will run into other stores, other uh, suppliers just by, you know, even starting with Walmart because let's say uh, a person may sell Walmart and Amazon and other stores products, not only strictly just Walmart. So uh, you will run into other suppliers as you go. But if you want to uh, strictly start with uh, like Amazon or strictly start with a specific supplier, you know, they may, there are a lot of people that just, uh, you know, have a store that using one supplier or, you know, um, so yeah, but it's, it's your personal choice how you want to start. But uh, I just kind of show you that and then um, let's see so so this right here is pretty much your product research if you click here <coughs> in your product research and when you search for anything dining table set for example it will search at the top page for the dining table set it's like the same what shows up on eBay you know, and then you could also play around with this. Click here, Zeke selection, and um, they have webinars and, and tutorials on on the use of uh, different features. I'm just kind of showing you guys, uh, you know, just my uh, point, my view of it. So then that, and let's say you're in this, we search this title right here, and we could do title analytics. And then top three uh, selling titles right here one two three and then so uh, you could see these are long tail keywords square layout tool got uh, basically 89 sales 93 uh, competitors use this uh, you know these three words and uh, the, the title that had these three words had generated 89 sales so 89 sales you had 93 competitors had uh, this in their title, you know, so you could play around and see, you know, less competition versus sales, you know, less competition and it's easier to compete. As you know, you could watch webinars and tutorials to learn that. So basically, this is how it works. I'm just kind of scanning through so I'm not spending a lot of your time. Price analytics, it kind of shows you, you know, at what price range they were selling, if that interests you or not. And uh, yeah, so um, this is this uh, is what I use the most is the competitor research and, uh, you know, and, and the product research, which uh, kind of gives me ideas on uh, keywords and titles and everything. So, <clears throat> and uh, I'm actually testing out a bulk bulk scanner but you could also you know just scan manually and then possibly find um you know items from amazon the only thing this bulk scanner only searches amazon it doesn't search any other uh stores but okay see you can see the same picture eight cents but then like like i said if if i actually If I click here and if I see that it's sold by that and fulfilled by Amazon, so most likely there's a tax. If it's sold, it's shipped and sold by Amazon, there's always going to be a tax. If it's a FBA seller, it could be me selling this and I don't charge tax on none of the states or, you know, um, or maybe if I do, it would be only for one state that I'm registered with. So... So yeah, this is why it only shows that. So basically, you're adding, subtract the 8% from this because there's no tax on this product. So yeah, so uh, that, and you could link up your store. Uh, your, you could watch webinars. Uh, they have affiliate program, settings, manage payments, competitor list. You could save your competitors 
because as you scan competitors to see what they sell, uh, you want to build a list of competitors because they will give you ideas of what's actually selling and what you could focus on. You know, you don't have, you don't always have to sell exactly the same item as they sell. You could find similar items out there, and uh, you know, just kind of like piggyback on their keywords because uh, just looking at their title, you know, improve the titles and uh, see what they, what keywords they use for their sales. And if you're selling a very similar product, then you know you're, um, you know, you could. Uh, kind of leverage their titles to sell your other products so um, so yeah so that's why you could keep on checking on your competitors from time to time like once or twice a month and see if there's any new products and new ideas that uh, are given to you and um, you know you, you, you could save items to watch list right here so you could see my items book scanner that's my book scanner that I'm testing out right now it's through here you can just scan them all right here and it will basically instead of clicking each one it will once you click here it will scan them all and um, and then my save searches yeah so um, this tool is a great tool I used to use uh, Terapic in the past but they removed the competitor research which is uh, very important to me the, the strategy that I use so uh, when I found out about Zeek Analytics um, you know, I moved away from Terapic to Zeek Analytics and been using them since then. It's been what, a little over a year since I've been, started using them. Uh, I hope I covered everything. I definitely recommend using this tool. And, um, you know, uh, also, yeah, also, if you love what we do in our group, if, um, by the way, if you're not in my eBay dropship mastermind group, uh, I encourage you to join because it's a free mastermind group for dropshippers where you could ask questions, you get some uh, support and you know discussions. It's a community that I built together and uh, where we all communicate, talk to each other, network, and then just you know share ideas. It's a uh, eBay dropshipping mastermind, so uh, you know majority of people there are drop shippers and uh, you could learn a lot just by going through our threads questions previous questions I do share some uh, some free value some training inside a inside the group files and um, so if you're not there I'll uh, I will have a link uh, in the description of this video and um, also uh, I encourage you guys um, I will leave a link uh, my affiliate link uh, to the software if you like what I showed you guys if you like the the features of this tool and if you like this video please uh, you know like and comment and share this video and uh, also um, I'm gonna leave my affiliate link you know this by purchasing purchasing through this link you know not only uh, you will get the software you know whether you purchase through my link or other link but you will also support our community and what we do so we could provide more for the group and um, you know uh, because I mean it, it takes time to really manage the group and uh, hire some virtual assistants to help out with managing and customer service and as we grow bigger then of course there's more work added so um, I will leave the link to my group and to this uh, software to access it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll do my best to respond as quick as possible. So, um, oh, before I let you guys go, they also have a, a Amazon gift card service, which is uh, by Triple Mars. They recommend this is where you could purchase uh, gift cards. This is mainly for, uh, I understand it, for international people because uh, when you purchase on Amazon through with your uh, credit card, you got to pay 3% um, uh, conversion fee. And um, uh, with, with Amazon gift cards, I just see a lot of internationals are using because it's just an easier process. And um, I don't know a whole lot of details about this. I have never bought it myself through this site but I have have friends who purchase from it, my international friends from Germany and from other places and they've uh, told a lot of great stuff about it and if Zeke analytics you know 
uh, recommends using the service, and uh, it's it's a great service because they wouldn't put their uh, you know their company on the line if it wasn't worth it. They have a support group. I'm part of the English group, and you know. Uh, Nahar does like webinars. He has a, a lot of good stuff uh, going going on in his group. So I'm part of that group as well. Uh, when you become a member, that's what <coughs> you could access access the group. So um, so yeah, I hope uh, I answer all your questions. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I'll leave the links, both links to my group and for the software down below. Uh, you know, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it, it brought some value to you and you could see how this software could help you guys, uh, you know, with your eBay career. Uh, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys uh, later. Peace.